Hi, I'm Jim Alimo, and today we're going to take a cast of a hock paw brace. First of all, what we're going to do is we're going to take a stock of that, and we're going to put it on the dog's leg. And we can have your helper try to help hold up the stockinette. We're going to uh, have the stockinette come just above the knee, and we're going to include the entire paw. When we take a cast of a hot paw brace, we want to make sure that we cast it in the position we would like the cast to be in, or the brace to be in. We also want to make sure that the paw is at a standing angle, it should be close to 90 degrees. We don't want the paw pointed downward unless there's a contracture. So we're going to put on the stockinette and then we're going to use a surgical tubing or some cutoff strip and that's going to go cranially or towards the front. Have your helper hold up the stockinette and then we'll have the tubing down beyond the paw. So next what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put on our gloves for use with our fiberglass casting tape. In this case we're going to use two inch fiberglass casting tape. We're going to leave this in the water for 10 seconds and just regular room temperature water is fine. After we leave it in for about 10 seconds we're going to pull the fiberglass out and we're going to squeeze it three times to get the water out. We should start by putting a little piece of plastic or something or foam up underneath the paw. The fiberglass has been in there 10 seconds. I squeezed it out three times and I'm going to start wrapping the, the dog's leg. And we're going to start and we're going to wrap around away from us. We we'll to make sure that the tube is going in the right direction and that's towards the front. When we wrap around the paw, we want to make sure that we don't wrap the paw too snugly or too tight. We want to try and get the actual circumference and shape of the paw. We only need about three wraps on the dog's leg. We don't need more than that. Anything more than that and the cast will be difficult to get off. So I'm just wrapping about three times around the dog's leg. We're going to make sure that we get around the Achilles tendon and we're going to wrap just below the stifle. And that will be the height that we need. Any excess fiberglass let's just go ahead and cut it off this way the cast is not too thick. Now we've got the uh, fiberglass wrapped around the leg. What we want to do is we want to massage it in nicely and that will bring all the fibers together. It's really important that we have the angle of the brace, the cast, in the angle that we want the brace made in. So we want the paw at 90 degrees and we want to match the angle that we want the brace to be in. We don't want it hyperextended or hyperflexed. Natural carrying angle is what we're looking for. And we're just going to massage this in, make sure that we massage it around the Achilles tendon, around the calcaneus, and then make sure that the paw is pointed in the right direction and it's not in varus or valgus or internally or externally rotated. Now have your helper hold up the stockinette and hold the dog's leg up slightly so it's not deforming the cast. Now we're going to go ahead and just mark right along the surgical tubing so this is where we're going to cut it off. We're going to put hash marks along that where the surgical tubing is. This way when we take the cast off we can move it together again. Next we're going to take a very sharp utility knife and we're going to cut down the fiberglass down the surgical tubing.
And then we can pull out the sur surgical tubing. We take our bandage scissors, we'll cut out the stockinette. And then we can pull the cast off gently. Now it's still a little bit soft right now, but now we can close it up. And then what we'll do is we'll take some tape and we'll just tape up the cast and we'll align the marks that we made across the cast to make sure that it's in the right alignment. So the, we want to make sure that the cast, the paw, is at the correct angle and the angle of the hock is the angle that we want the brace made in. That's all we need to do right now. The next thing we'll do is we'll take measurements of the dog's leg. So after we take the cast, let's put the dog's name on the cast and if it's a right or a left and then make sure you also put the owner's name on it. Okay. Then what you can do is you can take measurements and a tracing of the dog's leg. So on the back of the measurement sheet, what I'd like you to do is just put the dog's paw on the measurement sheet and with a pen or pencil, just trace right around the paw, just gently, get the back of the paw. And then go ahead and put a, an arrow of the direction of the front of the paw and then what side this is. So there's a tracing of the paw, the direction of the arrow going forward, and then if it's a right or a left. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take measurements, and according to the measurement sheet, what we want to do is we want to take a measurement from the length of the paw, and we'll write that down. Then we're going to take measurements at below the tarsal, and then measurements at the tarsal, and then measurements just below the knee or the stifle. And then from there, we'll take measurements from the stifle down to the hock, and then from the hock down to the floor. So those are the measurements, and you'll see that on the measurement sheet. Send the measurement sheet along with the cast to uh, my pet's brace.